things. First of all, I have decided another decision. Yes, I want to do these uh, little quickie projects, like my warm ups, or uh, for days I don't have time to do a real journal. So don't be surprised if you start seeing these and another project the same day like I did yesterday. Um, although yesterday what I did was um, two of these because I did uh, this spread and I did um, this little page. I think what I actually did yesterday. Um, because y'all do know I, these the, these aren't in order. Like I really did do this. Um, I did it Friday night, not Saturday morning. Because by the time I get them edited and uploaded, yeah. But um, but I did do these on the same day. So um, hang on, I gotta sneeze. <coughs> <coughs> I could feel it coming. So anyway, I've started to treat these as like warm ups. And then, uh, in true me style, I signed up for some art classes. And so, you're probably going to see me working on some of those. And I'll tag whatever class I'm working out of. But yesterday, um, I went to um, Little Rock with a uh, best friend. And we, um, we went to the Art Outfitters in Little Rock. I told you about this in the video yesterday, I think. I think. Oh, I think. I told y'all. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, they have this art thing every year. It's basically their anniversary party. And they have demos and sales and a goodie bag. And I got oh, stuff, y'all. Okay, so I thought I would show you all the stuff I got. So, um, I guess I'll start with um, the stuff I bought and then my free gift. Okay, so... Here is what I bought in the bag and my free gift here. All right. Okay. So, I have been wanting some of this handmade paper that is like fabric-y um, for collage. So, I bought a, 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 I bought a sheet. It's, it's not really paper. It's thread, but it's done like, like, like you would do paper. See, it's got the... It's got the little paper fibers, but in the weave of the thread. I don't know. Material, paper, you decide. Um, but I've been wanting to play with some uh, for collage and for, for texture. And so I bought a, a sheet. Um, so, yeah, I can't wait to play with that. All right, and then, um, okay, so the free gift was if you spent, uh, I think it was $25 on Asian um, brushes or inks, which y'all know I love, you got the stand for free. Well, I need, I don't have it in here. Um, do I, do I have it in here? I don't, I don't think I have it in here. It may still be hanging up in yonder. Um, I had an entire set of um, Asian brushes, an entire beautiful set, and I washed one of them and left it hanging up to dry, which is what you do, right? Well, I did, and Ting decided to eat the tip off of it. So, <laughs> y'all, that cat. So, um, I needed to replace it anyway, and I was wanting to get some of that mica ink. It's been in my, um, it's been in my, hang on, y'all, I can't get this to move, so I'm just gonna cut the knot. There we go. It's been in my um, Amazon cart. Why couldn't I think of that for a while? But anyway, so I got the stand for free. But what did I buy? Well, I bought one of these brushes. Um, this is a this is um, Winston New Newton series. Oh, okay. It's H A K E. It's a two inch brush. I will say that wrong because I am as southern as southern gets. Um, <laughs> so I'm not even going to try because we both know I'll get it wrong. Um, but I've, I've never played with one of these. And so, I don't know. It kind of reminded me of a chip brush, which y'all know I do love a chip brush. Uh, so, will it fit on my stand? Um, it won't. but that It kind of will, but it won't. So, I'll get some thread and run through that. No kittens are in here, so you're going to hear a 
revolt in a minute. But anyway, uh, so I got this brush, and I can't wait to play with it. It's a two-inch brush. Um, are they all the same size? They are. Okay, you know what, though? Um, I have some thread right here. <clears throat> Let's make a hanger on it real quick. while I'm making this hanger. Y'all, okay, so I have always posted, I used to post to my YouTube a long time ago, but then I kind of let it die down, right? We all kind of go around. But I've had trouble posting the last, oh, I don't know, probably year to Facebook uploading the videos. So um, if you've been around a while, you probably remember that. And um, that is too long. <laughs> let me cut that out for dry kid. Um, and so, what I did was I decided that I would just start, it really needs to be like that. Um, I would start, it's going to have to just hang on that hole. Anything else is going to be too uh, long. Maybe I'll waller it out with the things or something. Um, I've got a file. Alright, I'll waller it out a little bigger it'll be fine. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Um, so, okay. So, I stopped um, posting to my Facebook because the videos just wouldn't upload. So, I started posting them to my YouTube and then sharing them to Facebook because YouTube never gives me any trouble with uploading my videos. Well, y'all, I am so, so sorry, especially Becky Martin, you. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Uh, I didn't realize people were commenting on my YouTube videos because I just shared them. And um, so last night I needed to do something on one of my videos and it, and it told me um, to um, upload the YouTube studios, which I had a long time ago when I used it regularly, but I haven't reloaded it in, since then. So I did, and when I did, all these notifications <laughs> came through. Y'all, I'm so sorry. I just went through and hearted everybody see if you asked an actual question. Uh, like, is this a white pa a paint pen? Yes, it's a Posca. What paint pen do you recommend? Posca. Um, yeah, I did try to go through and actually answer the question questions. Everybody else, I just kind of hearted. Because uh, some of them are months old. Sorry, y'all. Sorry. I, will, I left YouTube Studios um, on my phone. So it will give me notifications. Okay. I got a big fat brush. Because I do love a big fat brush. And we'll hang him on here. And then... Okay, this is the this is the size brush that Tingy ate the end off of, so I did replace it. Um, and he ate the lid too, if you're wondering. <laughs> oh, Tingy is such a bad kitten. Um, and let's see, I bought this one. It does not have a hanger though. Okay, it doesn't have a hanger. Does this one have a hanger? No, both of these do not have a hanger. Okay. So, anyway, I, uh, oh, oh, y'all, I bought these two little travel brushes just because they were so freaking cute. Oh, are those not the most adorable thing you've ever seen? So cute. So cute. <laughs> Had to have them. Uh, these are, and they're Da Vinci brushes, y'all, so they're, they're good brushes. But they're just so unbelievably adorable. I had to have them. I know. It was kind of ridiculous, but yeah. Um, oh, we'll stick this in our five-minute art. We could have used it yesterday for the brown bag. Um, okay. Um, this is still stuff I bought. Oh, so there, those are my um, brushes. And then I've been wanting to try this Brilliant Gold Ink Gold Mica. Um, I don't know. There we go. Maybe you could see it. Uh, it's been in my Amazon cart for a while. Uh, but it counted as Asian ink to get my stand for free, so I thought, yes, I want it. So we will definitely be playing with that. All right, last things that I bought. I bought a re 
real scraper, y'all. Y'all know I've always used my hotel room key cards, um, and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy an actual scraper. Yeah, it has a little handle to hold it. It's bigger. I bought a real scraper. I'm, I'm moving into the grown-up world. All right. I have always used, where's my Avery? I've always used the Avery glue sticks, but I know a lot of people really love the Yoohoo. And so I decided to try it. So I bought one of these to see if I like it better than um, my, my Avery. We're just gonna try it. Um, Cause I do know a lot of people are like seriously loyal to their, their Oohoo sticks. Um, and I think this can now go in our Oh, y'all, my allergies. Okay. Box over here to repurpose. All right. I don't know. I just like this um, this stencil and the irregularity of the circles. Um, so I got it. You know, I can't run this a cute pattern stencil. Okay. Um, all right. So then I love pastels. And they have these... Um, and I'm never going to say it right, so let me see. Senelier, uh, S-E-N-N-E-L-I-E-R, okay? Um, extra Soft Pastels, six sticks. And so I thought, you know, I just want to try them. And I also like they came in a tin because I thought, oh, that will be fabulous because I can put um, all my pastels in the tin. Cause I'm sure it's got some kind of styrofoamy thing, and I'll just take the styrofoamy thing out, and um, yeah, and then I have a dedicated spot for my pastels. Cause I don't right now. Y'all know they just kind of flop around, but I don't have that many. I have way more like neo colors and stuff like that. Um, oh, look how pretty they are. And yeah, so I can just take this out. And um, put more in here. Um, oh, look how gorgeous that is. Um, so this is just talking about them and how they make them. Um, oh, they have crayons too. Little pastel crayons. Um, paints. So anyway, um, I thought we would play with these. Oh, it's by the same company that makes abstract paint, which I do love and got some free in my, my, well, it's not free. I'll talk about that in a second. Hang on. It's, it's almost free. It's practically free. <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm going to stick this over here as well. And then, um, okay. I know these are super soft and yet I know they can break and that's why they have them in these cute little things. But I'm going to take them out. Just stick them in the tin. Oh, how cute are they? I'll save this uh, because when we need to pokey tool something, this will be great for pokey tooling. So I'll hang on to that over there. And then I will take my just knocking around pastels that do have not had a home. And I will add them in. And I have some more of those somewhere. Okay. But now we have a home for our pastels and new pastels to play with. Alright. So that's everything I bought. Now give me a second to kind of make room for this stuff. I did buy one more thing. I started to overlook it. Um, so I do love um, the Faber Castell water soluble pencils, um, and this one is the jump the nine thousand jumbo, and of course they're water soluble. So I wanted to play with this big one. Oh, so 
and we are adding him to our stack of water soluble pencils. Okay, and this has been in the water for who knows how long. I guess since yesterday morning before I left. <clears throat> I'm so bad. See, this is why I need the hanging up thing for my brushes because I'm so mean to my poor little brushes. Okay, so that's everything I bought, bought. Now, they sell grab bags. And I don't even know how much this year's was. They're usually like $20, $25. I assume they're the same. I buy them every time because there's way more than, than that worth of stuff in them. Even though it's a lot of like testers and stuff. So, what did I get in my grab bag? All right, well, let's go through it. Um, okay, so I got this gorgeous handmade paper. Isn't that beautiful? Um, and y'all do know I love me some handmade paper. So I can't wait to play with that. And um, the size is is just... I'm, I, I'm really tempted to go in and tear it in half because it's it's too big for anything I got going up here. But at the same time, I hate to tear it yet. Because it's just so pretty. <laughs> I'll just set it aside on the top. Alright. Um, then more paper. So uh, fluid watercolor paper... Um, cold press, uh, 300 GSM, the easy block, and I actually, this, if, you, if you're thinking, wait, I see that. This is actually the easy block paper I normally do buy. Uh, but this is just a three sheet tester pack. We can always use more paper. Alright, um, uh, more papers. So, alright, so, um, Durabrite, um, I'm not real sure what this is for because I thought it was going to be like for your alcohol inks, you know, but it says, um, it says it's heavyweight, opaque, polypropylene film, durable mixed media surface for watercolor, alcohol ink sprays, and acrylics. Build up layers by heat setting between each color. Uh, stitch together without tearing by using a sewing machine to create unique functional pro pieces. Use distress oxide ink, sponge stamping, sponges, stamp, paint, or remove with water to create negative designs. Scratch or score into the surface before painting creates fine lines for the ink to fill. 90% isopropyl alcohol will clean off virtually anything, giving you a clean surface. Create texture by scraping off dried acrylic paint with a palette knife. No surface damage and leaves white peeking through. Um, and then it's by graphics, G-R-A-F-I-X, arts.com. So, I guess it is paper, um... But I guess maybe you can reuse it. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I've never used it. So at some point, we will use it. And also, it's a great size. I might uh, fold it over and stitch it into a journal. So anyway, we have that to play with. Brand new thing. Uh, okay, so this is uh, Artist water Watercolor Paper, The Master's Choice, Cold Press, Medium, 300 GSM, 140 pounds. So it's just a little piece of watercolor paper. You can always use watercolor paper. All right. Um, just so bored. All right. So um, this is the gesso board. And um, yeah, gesso board by Ampersand. So. Um, I'll just stick that over here since he's little. We'll make something on him. And then this is, says Color Fix Original um, Artspectrum.com. It's it's gritty. I mean, it's really gritty. Um, I think it's just a paint swatch. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but we will do something on it. It's got it's got the gritty texture like um like acrylic paint on watercolor. A cold press watercolor is kind of what it feels like. So I think it might just be 
I'm not 100 percent sure. Because you just get a bag. There's like a there's like so many people, you just literally just get a bag. All right. There's no one standing there explaining what all is in your bag. <laughs> oh, um, the Heinemuhl, uh, H-A-H-E-N-E-M-U-H-L-E, -E -E, the collection. Uh, I think this is going to be paper. Yep. Paper of excellent quality for more than 435 years. Uh, let's see what paper they sent us. Uh, a piece of sketch paper and a piece of watercolor paper. You know what? I I like the paper. I can tell you that already, just from the feel of it. I especially the sketch paper. That's a good weight sketch paper. Um, I wish they had just put the information on the back and not also on the front. You know, um, because now. You know, I don't know. I I start most everything with collage anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. All right, we'll put these back in here and add them over there to our stack O paper. We'll definitely know what paper it is when we use it. <laughs> pin collection um, but they're pretty great so that's a great addition to our pin collection um, and it's green y'all know I love green um, do we need this we'll stick this in the recycle repurpose um, also fabric Estelle I do love me some fabric Estelle uh, a water soluble pencil the only thing is I am 99% sure I already have this color. Let's see if it's the same color. No. I have, I have, um, where's my lining again? It is just a hair different. Um, I have 22 and this is 171 so yeah they're just a hair different I mean just a hair different okay but y'all an entire set of pencils um and I don't I don't know that I need another set of color pencils so I'm not gonna open that just yet we might do something fun with that I'll set him aside. Brushes. Oh, y'all know how brushes make my heart happy. Brushes just make my heart happy. Um, these are some full-size Da Vinci's, which I bought the little bitty ones. So, um, and these are supposed, I don't have any Da Vinci's, but they are supposed to be really good brushes. So, um, we will open this and add these to our stack of goodies. Oh, man, that doesn't want to pull up. I'm going to totally break a nail trying to get into this. Ow! <laughs> Are you that enough to get it? I think that's enough to get them. Oh, wait. packaging sometimes um and I'm just gonna toss that because I don't want to fool with trying to get it apart that's that's a killer packaging um so this is a six round and an eight flat and yeah so we will definitely play with these let's add them to our stash um okay Aspen I love a long brush okay Y'all hardly ever see me use really long brushes because I like these with, with canvas and I don't do canvas back here. Um, I do paint on canvases. I just generally um, don't paint live on them because they. I'm really 
slow when I do a canvas. Like, I may take weeks to do one. Um, I don't know if that's normal or not, but that's me. So, yeah, I don't, I don't normally um, record them. I may do posts about it and upload, you know, shots and stuff. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't normally use these in an, um, art journal, but they are great for a canvas because you can kind of have a very loose hold and also, you know, stand back for your perspective. So I do like them on a canvas. Um, and this one is, um, Aspen Princeton, uh, it is a number six flat. So yeah, we'll play with it. Maybe we'll even play with it back here since it's back here. Okay, so I don't know. It's a it's a palette, but it's a re it's it's one of those recycled paper palettes. I guess it's supposed to be disposable. Um, I I don't I don't know. I don't know. First of all, I have a weird thing about texture. If, if y'all don't know that, um, it's about texture for everything: food, touch, clothes. I have a weird thing about texture, um, and. It has a horrible texture on the back, so I really am not liking even touching it. <laughs> I know that's kind of bizarre, but it's true. Also, this kind of paper generally falls apart when you get it wet, doesn't it? So, I don't know. Um, uh, this is not something I would ever, ever, ever have bought. Guaranteed, 100%. It can work perfectly. I guarantee you I will never buy one. But it's it's because I like I, I seriously don't like touching it. I'm I know it's bizarre to have this weird texture thing, but I so have it. I so have it. So um, I don't know if I'll use it. Maybe I'll do something with it. Otherwise, yeah. Oh, I don't know. I just it it creeps me out a little bit. Oh, a sponge, an artist sponge. You know, I bought a big one, and then I don't know what I ever did with it. Um, but I have been wanting to play with sponge for, for sponging, um, texture on. So, yeah, let's open this baby up and stick him somewhere so we'll use him. Because if he's not out and open, we'll forget about him. Just like the big one I bought. But I don't even know where it is. See, okay, same thing, texture. I just love the feel of a sponge. Okay, so we'll put him, we'll put him over here. We'll put him over there. Okay. Brushes, more brushes. Oh, these are nice. I like these. Um, Talent Art Creation. There's been a lot of stuff with this brand. Uh, the art pencils are this brand, and something else was this brand. And I don't, I don't know this brand. If you know this brand and you've used it, uh, give us a shout out. I will look on YouTube in case your shout outs on YouTube. Uh, YouTube Mickey's Niche uh, or uh, Art Journaling Artist. I will, um, I will be better about looking everywhere. Uh, there's synthetic tips, um, but I do like the, the feel of them. They're not as soft as some synthetics. Um, yeah, not, a, but they have just a little more, um, firmness to them than I normally get in my brushes. But yeah, so you're going to have a little bit more, but that might help when you're, especially with your fine liner, you know, it, to have a little bit more control because um, I get really soft brushes and they tend to poof out over time, really soft brushes. Like you try to reform them when you wash them, but they, they're super soft. So yeah, see how soft he is? Oh, he's so soft. I do tend to buy soft brushes, but look, he's got some, some, some heft to him. So we'll play with them. I, they may make me a believer in sturdier brushes or reaffirm my belief that I love soft brushes. We'll see. And I'm gonna pull this out, cause it's kinda cool, and stick it in our recycle repurpose. We're getting a lot of stuff in our recycle repurpose. All right, we're getting down to the end, so I'm just gonna pull all the rest of this stuff out of the bottom. And of course, the bag will go to kittens. Everybody get something here. Uh, bag will go to kittens. All right, all this is still coming out of that grab bag. 
All right, and the bag goes over in the kitten art area. Okay, the abstract paint, which I do know I do like. Um, I've, I think I have this color. I don't have it back here. Um, I tend to use this not in my art journals, but on my canvases, so it is in the art studio. Um, but I do think I actually have this color, but I'll look later. Um, all right, these acrylic paints, um, we actually, they actually have this, this exact color set, although I think they might be uh, larger um, than normal uh, in their grab bag every year. Um, I don't think I've ever gotten a grab bag that these weren't in there. I don't feel a fold over. Is there a fold over? Oh, wait, there it is. Um, but I do like them. Uh, and they're really good for mixing um, the colors, which is why I think they uh, just do the three color set um, because, you know, these three colors, black and white, you can make pretty much any color you want to make. Um, and they do hold up really, really well for, for mixing. So, um, yeah. We'll just keep these back here because I've, like I said, I've got several tubes, I think, up front. All right. Where are we going to put them? I guess we'll just set them up here for right now. Um, open acrylic Titan Green Pale. I don't have that color, and it looks very interesting. Very, very interesting. I like it. Um, golden High Flow in Iridescent Silver. Um, again, I don't have that color in the half low, so that's good. Soft eraser, three actual just like pencil erasers. So I, I, I will admit I don't really do pencil erasers, so I don't think I own any. So that's good. And um, the book on the golden, which do we need a book on golden? Everybody knows how fabulous golden is. Um, here's the book on the Holbin, which is the these guys um oh but they also have watercolor it says oh wait maybe that's this oh it is okay so this is new this year um this is going to be on the acrylics yeah here's the acrylics heavy body artist acrylics there's also a book for the watercolors because we got watercolors from them this year and then a golden sticker we'll stick that over here We'll do something with that. Um, okay, before we open the watercolors, we'll do the th pens. So this is a calligraphy pen, and it's double tipped. It is Atoya, I-T-O-Y-A, um, acid-free ink, CL10 is the only color um, notation, but you can see it's kind of a blue. Uh, I'll put it over here with my pens. I do love the Stablio pens. Um, I actually have an entire set of them, um, but I have the short ones because I like to um, take them with me. So I have the short ones. So I do like that I have a long one now. And I think this is probably a gel pen. Um, it is on the lid, wait. Matte Hop by Pentel uh, K110. And is that the only thing? Yeah, just Pentel Japan, but I'm pretty sure it's a gel pen. Um, let's get a scrap. Let's just get a scrap. Here we go, a scrap. Actually, let's not get this scrap. Let's get a scrappy scrap. Well, I thought I had that one that I've, here it is, punch the holes in. Oh, it is a gel pen, and I love the way it writes. You know, most gel pens, when you first activate them, um, they don't have a good heavy flow. Oh, this one has a good, thick, easy flow. Oh, I may have to, may have to hunt these down and buy some more. This is pretty great. Um, in fact, this is probably the best flow and gel pen I have ever used. And I don't think Pentel is. Yeah, 
Look how thick and, oh, that's a great flow. Okay, let's see what the brand of my white ones are, because I don't think they're Pentel. I do get them from Japan, uh, but I don't think they're Pentel. Now i got to figure out where I put the must. Uh, oh, here we go, here we go. Um, no, they're Signo. Signo Uniball are mine. And they do not flow anywhere near as smooth as these, these Pentel do. So, yeah, uh, I may have to... I may have to consider defecting on that. That's a great gel pen. Um, I wonder how long, is it dry yet? Yeah, and it's dry. So that's a great pen. Okay. All right. So I think the only thing that leaves is these new um, Holbin watercolor tubes. Um, and you got six tubes in here, it says. Uh, scissors, I guess I'll put them up again. And I've never gotten these before. These are a new edition. Um, some things like these have been every year. You always get uh, open um, acrylic and a high flow. Um, sometimes it's a heavy body. Sometimes this one's a slow drying. You know, but you always get a, cu a couple of goldens. Um, you um, you generally get some pens and some brushes. You know, they the brushes are always different. Um, it's pretty normal to get a couple of Stablios. Stablios are pretty popular. Um, and it's pretty normal to get some kind of, um, Faber-Castell pens and pencils, um, in the grab bag. Uh, but this is the first year on, oh, aren't they so cute? Yeah, I'm sorry, y'all. Small packaging. Those are so freaking cute. Oh, Crimson Lake. Oh. I love the colors too. Burnt Sienna, Cobalt Hue, Viridian Hue, Permanent Yellow Deep, Vermilion Hue, and Crimson Lake. Oh, okay. And I am doing the mixed media class with Laura Horn, and there's a lot of watercolors. So we will play with these when I start it. It actually started day before yesterday, but I haven't started yet. Yeah, I don't know. I just. You, if you've been watching the daily videos, you know, I've kind of been in a little bit of an art funk uh, lately, and I just haven't really felt very creative or motivated. All right, I've kind of trashed our space here, um, but I'm going to turn the camera off and then make a new video to do some kind of art here. Maybe using some of this, maybe not. I'm not 100% sure. But I did want to share everything I got with um, from... Hang on, hang on, hang on. It's on the bag. The Art fit Outfitters Art Stravaganza 2023. Um, the Significantly Sketchy Supplies Party, June 3rd. So, yeah, uh, this was yesterday. And I, I do go every year if you're in the Little Rock area. I highly recommend they are not a craft store, they are a true art store. Um, oh, I don't need to shut that. Kittens are going to want it. Uh, they're a true um, art store. So, they have just about every art supply you can imagine. Um, and um, they usually have demos, although I didn't stay for any of the demos. Uh, we went to Threefold Noodle and ate instead. <laughs> All right. Bye, y'all.